<laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Lucy's Vision. I'm Lucy. Let's get started, okay? So today's video is actually an update video regarding the pyramid I did. I did this, I believe, back in April. I did this, I showed you guys. Do you guys remember the pyramid of the non-participant variable, the control variable, and the controller? And I said that there's more you know, to this pyramid that I need more information. This is regarding everybody of civilization, of life. This everyone follows this this is like Jacob's Jacob's ladder of consciousness, basically what this is. Right? And I said I need more information, but this is what I got it so far. At the level one, level two, level three, right? So and then I, you know, basically said that I was gonna do an update as I know more. Today when I was in the shower, out of nowhere, I channeled this message. I channeled more information regarding the, the ladder. And I started to piece everything together. Everything started to connect. And I realized something about Jacob's Ladder. Again, um, I don't know everything about Jacob's Ladder. But this is what I gathered so far. And I did a new version today. Hopefully you guys can see it. If you guys can pause it. I know it's backwards for you guys. But I'm going to read it. So... Here we go. So, so you guys remember the last one I said level one was the non-participant variable. What is a non-participant variable? Non-participant variable is what we could, what we would be considered a lab rat. You know, there's, you know how I mentioned the conductors. They oversee, they oversee their experiments or what they they deem their experience, their property, right? To them, we are considered their lab rats. We are considered the non-participant variable because we are unaware. Okay, our conscious level is on like we're on the world, we are on the world of self. Okay, we do not to know our real ourselves or or this reality. We all start from non participant variable. Okay, so that's level one. Level two, remember what I said level two is a control variable. A control variable is someone who has influence over others. This could be a president, this could be a mayor, this could be a senator, this could be a police officer, this could be um, a teacher. Someone who has influence, meaning someone who can influence someone by their perspective, by their, um, it's just someone who can influence others. That is what a control variable, like you have a certain position in life, you have a certain status, you have a way to have an influence on someone else other than yourself, basically. And then the level three, I wrote the controller. So, and I stopped at level three because like, what? So level three, I, I'm understanding more about it. If you guys go back to that video, from the very beginning, where I was, you know, bringing to guy, bringing you guys information regarding homo sapiens. We are okay. Homo sapiens. We are the genetically modified mutation and evolved species of the animal kingdom. The, um, that's what I said, right? And I said that. Many of us, or some of us, apparently it's not all of us, that carries the X market genetics. We don't all evolve from apes. That is a mis... Like, that's not true. We all don't evolve from apes. So A certain group has that exists in this, like, black people. We do evolve from apes. Don't take offense. I'm just saying. We do. Um, not all black people just have that genetics, though. Okay. It's not just apes. But some of them are... Okay. Anyways. But many, we all don't just evolve from um, apes. There's only a certain group that did. And there are other species that people evolve from. Like elephants, lions, dogs. Um, yeah, dogs, elephant, um, lion. Cats is one. I know that for a fact. But those are... Many people are evolved from there. Okay, there's different um, evolution of them. Okay, we are the evolution of our ancestors. Basically, for black people, we, we are the evolution of apes. For other groups of people, they're other. Okay, there's something about that. The other groups, because other groups are a mutation of, you know, I'm gonna get into that in a later video. But um, but they do have a certain X marker genetics. Okay. So a controller is a get they control some type of element. So remember in the the previous video that's what I was going. <laughs> Sorry you guys. 
remember in the, that video, the Homo sapiens video, I said that the controller, they are able to control others, right? But like not by influence, not just by influence, but by power, like some type of magic. It gets, this is level three gets magical. Okay. Um, uh, well, in terms of the Jacob's ladder, those who have, has the ability to control others, right? They are able to control others by magic or uh, through magic, like, um, through their source power, in which their source power power is an element. And what is an element? We have fire, earth, water, air, and spirit. Spirit is consciousness. Um, it's mind. So we have fire, earth, water, air, and spirit. So a controller, they have a gift of an element. So when I say they have, not all controllers uh, control people through the mind. That would be someone who has the element of spirit. Remember, I told you, spirit is consciousness; it's mind. So, who? So, for instance, a controller. Let's just say I were a controller of water. I will have control of a what? I I have a gift of controlling water. Let's just say I'm a controller of fire. I have a gift of controlling fire. Let's just say I am a controller of earth. I have a gift of controlling earth, like the earth elements or the earth um element itself so that is what a controller is like i miss i miss um i misspoken i misspoke about the controller before not all have that element of consciousness of i mean not <laughs> not all have the element of spirit but those who have the element of spirit yeah they can control minds but those who have an element of fire, they control fire. Other, and those who have an element of earth, they control earth. Those who have an element of water, they control water. So that is what a controller is. So, yeah. The, after the controller, we have the... Sorry, you guys, I'm not showing you guys. <laughs> after we, the controller, we have the lords, right? The lords... I'm going to do a video on the what I believe the lords are. Okay, this is a message I channeled through when I was in the shower. And what is shot like sh sh I'm showering, it's water, right? That's it. okay. So <laughs> uh the lords, they are uh what I consider alpha. So if you guys are familiar with like werewolves or wolves um story, like fantasy story, supernatural story with like, regarding wolves, they follow this type of system, this power structure system, like there's the alpha, the beta, and then their nuna, right? That is what a lord is. They they have alpha status. They, they, and in those stories that's written, most of the times, if you're an alpha, that means you got power. You're powerful. Not only do they have some some sort of um element, right? They carry some type of gift element, right? They're also it. They also are apac predator. They are apac predator of some kind. And I'm going to do a video on the apac predator. They are a, a, a apac predator, other known as um. You know how I said that we all evolved from some type of animal, right? These lords, these alphas, these apex predators, not only do they have an element, but they, they also have, they still have that animalistic nature to them as well, to their power. So that is what lords are. But again, I will share more information regarding that. As I know more, I share more. You guys know that regarding the information I have been sharing. Uh, then after the lords, which is the kings, I had visions about three different kings that I don't even know. One of them I don't like, but yeah, the kings. Okay, the kings, they carry three elements. The kings are, this is a hierarchy. This is a, a, a Jacob's Ladder of like, in terms of power and consciousness level, right? So um, the kings are powerful as fuck. I just got to keep it 100 they're not the powerful of them all, but they're they are above the lords. They are above everyone else at the bottom. Belief them basically. The kings carry three elements. So what are the elements again? I said fire, earth, water, spirit, and air. Those are the five elements. The kings carry. They have three elements that they carry that they have within their genetics, and they have the king power. Like they, that's their power nature. Is they carry three elements. They have the gift of three elements. That is what a king is. They powerful. Okay. Above the kings, though, you guys, are the ascended masters. 
The ascendant master is the one who master all elements. They master the fire, they master earth, they, they master water, they master air, and they master spirit. They, they are the master of all elements. Another example of that is, if you guys are familiar with the animated um, cartoon, and they made a b movie version as well, of the last Avatar, the last Airbender, or something like that, that is an example of a ascendant master, like an Avatar. That is their power level. That's how powerful they are. That's how um how much they master consciously. They master the elements. They are above the kings. They are above the lords. They are above the controllers. They are above the control variable. And they are above the non-participant variable. Not only in power source, but also in consciousness. They are very intelligent. As you rise, you gain intelligence. But Ascendant Master, they are very intelligent. And many, I have visions of different Ascendant Masters. Uh, Ascendant Masters are the angels. They are also the, the uh, yeah, they are the angels. They are the deities that we read about, like the Orishas. They are considered Ascendant Masters. The Orishas, um, a different culture have different um, deities. I just can't name them all, but the deities that we read about in stories, they are considered Ascendant Masters, okay? And there's a difference between uh, the gods and the deities, because they're, the deities are considered the ascendant master. Although they are powerful, they master all the elements, but the gods, they carry immense power that is beyond the elements. It's beyond space and time. That is, and I'm going to get to the next, I'm going to get to the gods, but let's go back to the ascendant masters. The ascendant masters are deities that we have read about, like the Orishas. That's the one I can think of. You know, that's like my people. Um, Yeah. I was I was gonna say the Egyptians, but I think the Egyptians is higher. I think the Egyptians are part of the gods, um, but yeah, definitely ascendant masters are a master of all elements. So interesting, and I have visions about them. They they actually seem very very cool. Um, so let's get to the gods, okay? And I know many people like to I mean people say the gods like really they but they are real. I'm telling you guys, I'm not just saying this to say. I have many visions of them. Many. Okay, they are very real. That you cannot sway me any different. I've seen so much. Okay, of many different things. When it comes to that, I know for a fact they they are really real. Okay, um, what I real what I came to learn about gods because I didn't know this before. I just thought gods are what is only one god. But what I didn't know what a god was. I just read about it, you know, it's like some type of mystical fairy tale, right? I didn't know what they were, but now I have an understanding of what they are. Basically, what a god a god or a goddess is, is basically they have um evolved conscious they evolved their consciousness beyond space and time. It is beyond the elements, the five elements I just stated before. Um they are one with Christ consciousness. Those are what the gods are. They are one with Christ consciousness. They have reached beyond space and time. They carry immense power and energy. They have the ability to create and destroy. That is what a god is. And many people do not make it up this um this level. And people like say, "Oh, I'm a god." You ha many people have not reached this level. Many people they haven't even reached the ascendant masters. That's mastering all the elements. Many people have not reached that. And I see a lot of people who claim that they're woke. Oh, I'm a, you know, no. You haven't even reached the freaking ladder. You're not even in the ladder yet. <laughs> I was just like, uh. No. But what I think the, yeah, so that's that, the gods. And then above the gods is obviously God, the one true God, which is source which is a.k.a. Christ Consciousness, which is a.k.a. the universe. One. Oneness is source. And that's above all... It's, it's, it's where everyone came from consciously. Source holds all the power. Source knows everything. Source is the true... Like, is Christ Consciousness. This is the levels, you guys. Hopefully I describe it to you guys 
um, the best way that I can for you guys to understand. If not, I would do another video if you guys have any questions or, or you know, thoughts on this. But that is what I channel today. And this is an update version to what I originally stated before. Um, although I was like right on the money on certain things, I still wasn't, you know, it was things was still unclear. I was still learning, you know, I was still decoding. But now I'm learning more and more throughout the months, throughout, you know, as my consciousness is like, as I've started to learn more and dive into different things, as far as like learning different subjects, that I didn't learn, know before, I've started to understand certain things. But today, I challenged this when I was in the shower. So, this is very interesting. So, I will do anything, uh, any update, if it's, like, more information. If not... Oh, you know what? Let's, let's channel a message from the before I go. Let's channel one message from the universe. To see. Hold on, you guys. I have to leave. I have to leave soon, but... Let's just turn on one song and then I can go. The song that I see that pops up is What's Love Got to Do With It? I really need to go though. <laughs> You must understand that you're the judge of your hand. That's why. Opposite. Opposites attract. Opposite attract is physical. I feel like this is regarding the Alpha and Omega. But, okay. Logic, which is con like consciousness. Okay, consciousness it like the mind it means uh, is a lot is a lot more to the mind than people know. You there, people need to understand that the consciousness is very important to understand Christ and yourself most importantly. Love has everything to do with it, even though the the title says it has love got to do with it. Love has everything to do with it. It says opposite of track. I feel like that has to do with the Alpha and Omega. It also has to do with um, the masculine and the feminine energy. It's talking about those who still live in illusion. This part that I'm listening to. Love has everything to do with it. And con your mind. You must... You must align those two, Both. The mind and your heart. To, under to know who you are. And to know Christ. If you don't, you're constantly going to be in this loop. Of being broken. Being an illusion. Being confused. And you will never know who Christ is. Or you will never know who you are either. And you must... This is... Okay, I'm going to take it in a new direction. I feel like you cannot... When it comes to Jacob's Ladder, it's like... Many people, which is the non-participant variable, I'm, I'm going to speak... Use it from their perspective. Many people tend to repeat... They tend to be in a loop and they don't even realize it. And it's not just them. It's also like their family dynamic and lineage. They follow some type of the same type of thinking process and perceiving something. Many people can be very closed mind and it says, I must go a new direction. You must see things, see life from a different perspective, from a higher perspective, from a bird eye view. And because like when you're if you're closed minded, you can't you will never see and you will never understand. So you must take it from a new direction, new perspective. You say, you say, I've been thinking about my own projection. Um, basically, you've been thinking from your own perception and not seeing outside of your perception, but seeing it from a different 
lens. Basically what I said. People are not seeing that. So that's why they can't understand or see that there is a ladder to reach who you truly are and to know who God is. And to even reach, well you can't reach it, but you know, at least know who God is. What's love got to do? Got to do with it. What's love got to do with it? And the emotion. So I feel like this part. What's love got to do? Got to do with it. With a second hand emotion. People. She basically. What universe is telling me is that like people disregard love. They they disregard it. They disregard unconditional love. It's like, people say, oh, what love have to do with it, basically? And love has everything to do with this. Unconditional love. Because many people can fall into, like, hatred. Hatred is very easy to fall into. Like, people can get triggered. Um, trauma can very influence people, like, as far as, like, the not able to forgive someone, not able to get over that trauma. So it's very easy for people to fall victim to hatred. To fall into it. And they can't never see God. And even though they may go to church and all that. But still hold on to the hatred. Still hold on to that trauma. And not let it go of something. They will never understand God. It's like what loves have to do with it. But secondhand, secondhand emotions. Like how can you know me? How can you disregard love? If you, if you can't see it. If you can't feel it. If you're still in that, that perspective. If you're not able to let go, and you're not able to forgive, how can you know me? How can you how can you know me? How can you understand me? How can you speak for me? How can you do that? It's like who leaves a heart when a heart can be broken? It's like. Your heart is fragile. Our all our heart is fra fragile. But the thing is that people not realizing with life, it may be it's gonna get broken. But the, what the universe is saying is that you can always heal that heart, no matter what you go through. It can be the most wickedest thing. The wickedest thing. You can be experiencing a lot of hatred, but your heart can mend itself and it can heal because I am there with you. I am part of you. You are part of me. It's like, what's love got to do with it about a secondhand emotion? Love has everything to do with it because I am love. How can you understand me? How can you see me? How can you feel me? How can you understand yourself? If you don't feel it. If you don't feel me. You guys, that is, that is all for the channel message of the universe. Hopefully you guys got the message for this live video. I have to go. Um, I keep doing this because I really need to be punctual with my time management, you guys. Working on it. But anyways, see you guys next time. Lucy out. Bye.